Um, anyway, guys, we are going to go. Um, we're going to go in a second to uh, Aki Habara. Am I saying it right? I keep saying it wrong. And um, Aki Habara, and I'm going to uh, prove once and for all to all the haters that I myself am not a weeb. What? Anyway, Aki Habara, Aki Habara, Aki Habara. Uh, it is the uh, center of otaku culture. Okay, and I um, five things to do in Aki Habara. Oh, Paolo, motherfucking Paolo, dude, Pauli Paul. Let's or no, it's not Paolo. It's abroad in Japan. I thought this was Paolo. I got excited for a second, but abroad in Japan is pretty sick too. Akihabara, or Electric Town in Tokyo, is regarded as the spiritual center of Japanese pop culture, with over 250 electronic shops of all shapes and sizes. True. Whether you're looking to spend your pocket money on retro video games or sexually provocative figurines, this is the place to do it. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to spend the day in Akihabara and discover some of the top things to Nani? do in this. Nani? Five things to do Doku in Akihabara. Video. Wow, hey Hasan, I've been eating Japan tourism guys from later than 1999. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up. Hidden down a back street in Akihabara is the greatest shop in the world. Uh, second only to the Build-A-Bear workshop. To walk into this shop is to travel back two or three decades to a simpler time. A time when handheld games consoles looked like bricks. At Super Potato, which is genuinely the name of the shop, you can buy just about any video games console ever made. Best of all, many of them look like they could have rolled off the assembly line last Tuesday. This is very meta that like I'm in Japan watching a video about Japan to an area that I'm about to go to in Japan. That's the whole point. We're doing this on purpose. Paolo video better. Okay, chill, dude. I love Paolo, but like, you know, uh, abroad in Japan is the GOAT too. Look at this, we've got loads of Nintendo Super Famicom. Look at the condition! It looks almost brand new. 3,480 yen. Comes with one controller. A whole stack of them. Before Ooh. I had any console ever, this was the first thing I had, the Game Boy. Same! The same Me size too, as the we're, both old. we're both old. We're both old, we're both old. But, look at the thickness. That's amazing. A little bit discoloured, not gonna lie. And it's quite expensive, 8,400 yen. Expensive? Expensive? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Yeah. So depending on the condition of the uh, Game Boy, the price is quite different. So this one has a little mark on it, apparently. Mm. So it's 2,000 yen cheaper. So I quite want to get one. I quite want to get one too. On that was another one I had. And I had a Game Boy Color too. On this, in the back of the car. When we're going I got a bunch of Game Boys back in the, the day. It's Tuesday, so it's only Golden fitting Eye. that we're doing My first abroad in Japan. My was Nintendo 64, and this was the first game that I ever really played, Goldeneye. I played Goldeneye earlier on this year for the first time in like 15 years. It doesn't hold up. It just, it just looks like a big blocky mess. But uh, the memories still live on. I can't help but feel some of the magic has been lost by downloading video games just off the internet. Like, these are made, these are so cool, like VHS tapes, but they're so perfectly wrapped. And the artwork on the box, the artwork is half the fun. This, what's, what's your favourite game? Nasty? Yeah. Nostalgic. My time, uh, very hard. Very hard. Nostalgic. Don't clear. What year was this game? Do you remember? Yeah, uh, I'm junior high school. Junior high school. Uh, the one thing that uh, everybody has is like a guy or a girl who speaks Japanese. We kind of don't have that today, so I feel like it's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, nice background. Did you move into a new mansion? Yes, I did. Uh, one in uh, Tokyo, as a matter of fact. I have bought a new house 
Uh, I bought a new mansion uh, this time in Tokyo. I've decided I'm just going to buy uh, mansions everywhere I go, you know, like a second home, if you will. Um, is that snow back there? No, it's not. It's just rocks. There's white rocks and trees. By the way, this is literally like the third floor, which is crazy. What do you put in your hair? The lads need to know. The lads don't need to know. Oi, lads, you don't need to fucking know, lad. You don't need to know. I'll tell you what. I don't put anything in my hair. The lads need to know. Um, but I don't. I don't actually put anything in my hair. Um, okay, I'm going to... I'm cracking open the fucking IRL backpack website. We're getting the server going. Um, bro, I thought you had to go. We are. I'm I'm just setting it up. I'm just setting it up. All right, bruv. Fucking calm down then. It's fucking Tuesday. It's I know it's a Monday for you, but it's a fucking Tuesday for me, lad. All right? You fucking what, mate? How much is the place cost? Interested in visiting Japan? I don't fucking know. A lot. You're asking the wrong guy, my friend. Mars dressed like a proper lad yet? Yeah, he's always dressed like an emo star, in it. He's always dressed like that. He's always serving. He's always styling and profiling. Start saying wanker instead of lad. Yeah, wanker. Please remember to put a BRB screen when you leave. Yeah. Thanks, chatter. I will be doing that. Lil bro thinks he's in Essex. It's only the only way he's in Essex, in it. That's right. Jake's guide has a good recommendation. Don't you worry about a fucking thing, lads. I'm definitely gonna take. I'm gonna throw on a fucking BRB screen. Don't you worry about a fucking thing. Don't do it. All right, let's keep watching this video now, yeah? 19... 19... 19. 1919. Yeah. Yeah. As well as being able then. to spend your hard-earned credit card on nostalgic childhood games consoles, you can even play retro arcade video games upstairs in a dimly lit room. I won't lie, most of these... They call me fucking Baka Gaijin, yeah? And I'm out here saying, uh, <laughs> Sami Masen, right? Fucking Sami Masen. I'm saying arigato, because I master, right? Fucking, you fucking what, lads? Games are a Just a bit of banter, time, lads. So I don't really know what they are. Do you remember these? Yeah. I You're going out just like that, bro? What are you, like, this, this motherfucker is like, <laughs> yeah, what, am I too slutty for you? Is that what it is? He's like, wow, you're you fucking whore. You're gonna go out looking like that, looking sexy like that, you fucking piece of shit. All right, I gotta put my shoes on, lad. I gotta put my fucking shoes on, lad. Don't worry about a fucking thing, yeah. What are you, the fashion police? Um. All right. Why does everyone have James Bond speaking Japanese to send them? Good style. Hold on. Gamers can purchase snacks and drinks in a small shop, that. and it's not long before Natsuki lad. settled down for a round of Street Fighter. My favourite thing about Street Fighter was always the backgrounds. This is supposed to be China, and I just love the people in the background. Oh. Doing the washing, watching a fight casually going on. That's what China looks like. Whilst Akihabara is Japan's pop culture capital today, it got its nickname of Electric Town after the Second World War, when the area was well known for its black market, where people could pick up cheap electronics, in particular, radios. As the 60s and 70s rolled around, the district became filled with shops selling TVs and records, and then in the 1980s came the arcade games. But despite its new pop culture image, the neighbourhood is still true to its roots, with an abundance of independent street vendors still selling electronic goods to this day. Just about every manner of electronic item you'd ever want. And once again, it's not long before something catches Natsuki's eye. Natsuki's, uh, Natsuki's going to buy some lights. Which? Which? Where's the difference? You see? But this this one looks better. Cool. Mm. Nice. Mm. Cool. Yeah. My, my room. Illumination. Your room illumination. Bedroom? Mm, 
shop yeah, on the window side. Ah, okay. Yeah. For the beauty thing. salon. Uh, Aski owns a beauty salon. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Think about the reproducibility of what's going viral. Hungry business. And whilst like there's no one. shortage of restaurants in Akihabara, why not try something a little bit unique while you're here? Yaro Ramen is a popular ramen joint. All right, lads. Another back We're going to fucking Akihabara. do it then. I'm going to do a transition right now, lads. Okay, I am going to. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I don't know how to like shut off the Ethernet. How do I shut off the Ethernet, March? From the computer. It's great. I'm officially out of clothes. <laughs> I brought two shirts because I thought we were going to go shopping. We'll do that too. Um, as soon as I figure out how to. We're gonna we're gonna take public transit. By the way, that's what we're gonna do. We've decided. We we've decided we are gonna do uh, public transit. Because that's what everybody wants. While you're walking, pinch Saikuno's butt cheek and never tell him why or even acknowledge it again. It will be fun. That seems like a horrible idea. Are you okay, chatter? <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to try and fucking turn off this goddamn internet. I'm not doing a good job here. Um, sure. I think maybe I can do it through here, possibly. I just want to shut off the internet on the computer real quick so I can... I don't know where, to, where it is. Behind it. You want to go behind there? Oh, okay. Plug it up. Plug it. Unplug it over there and tell me when. Okay, do it now then. Whenever. 